you want to save a nation, treat its history as sacred. But you want to make sure that a nation dies, distort its history, and encourage its members to be lax with their history. Being fully aware of this, I myself, Remy Ilona, and my colleagues in Omena and our defenders have dedicated our lives to put in whatever it would take to make sure that Igbo history is never trifled with again. In furtherance of this our determination, I'm going to still talk about DNA and Igbos again, and I want to make it clear that the only DNA studies that have been done as far as Igbo history is concerned is the one done by Igbo scholars. I'm going to mention the figures that we are pivotal, that we are critical to this. I, Remy Lona, was one of them. Barrister Emeka Madwewesi from Unnewi, but who lives in California now, contributed. Mr. Charles Tinokafo from Ogidi, who lives in Ohio now, contributed. We got the Igbo DNA analyzed. The report is duly or was duly set out in what I'm going to show you now. The cover of this book was designed from a DNA report produced by an American company, MyHeritage Incorporated. With your two eyes, you would see that an Igbo's DNA, the basic map of an Igbo's DNA, shows that the Igbo's genes are found in the gene pool, found in the Levant, that is the Middle East, and in Nigeria, and in the zone between Ethiopia and Kenya. This proves beyond a doubt that the Igbo people once lived in the Levant. That a, a lot of them are found in the country called Nigeria now, a modern country by the way, and that their genes also appear in the genes that you find in the gene pool of the, Ethiop of, uh, the groups that lived between Ethiopia and Kenya in ancient times. You can find this book on Amazon. Look at it yourself and do the needful. It is necessary for me to say this because a few years ago, gross misrepresentation of evils was carried out. A Christian group that people, the press called a Jewish group, for reasons best known to the press, put out the information that it purportedly conducted the end of the Igbos. And from what we know now, the methods used by this group are a non-starter. They cannot determine anything about DNA for ancestry. I'm going to read from a 2017 book published by Princeton Press, Princeton University Press, and we will understand something about the method used by this group that purportedly conducted DNA of the Igbos. Subsequent research has challenged this conclusion in a number of ways. One big problem is that the Cohen model, model haplotype is found not only in priests, but also among the non-Jewish populations in Africa, the Middle East and Europe. At first, there were efforts to suggest such populations might also be descendant from the Hebrews, as in the famous case of the Lemba, an African tribe in southern Africa. More about them a bit later, but it has since been common, um, but it has since become clear that the original Cohen model haplotype might have been common among Middle Eastern populations not exclusive to the Jews or their Israelite ancestors. I read from 
The Origin of the Jews. It was published in 2017. Why am I taking this pen to go all this way? I'm taking this pen to go all through this way because what is out there is that DNA studies about Igbos we are done and it was inconclusive. It was not done outside what the Igbos themselves did. The Igbos as a group have suffered all sorts of violence including media violence. And we would not justify our having existed in this world as honorable people if we do not do our best to protect the Igbos. And every little thing counts. So, take it, the information I have given you is the relevant information about Igbos and DNA. It has been done by Igbo scholars and the results prove definitively that Igbos we are Hebrews who once lived in the Levant and who migrated to West Africa and have been in the area that Britain used to form the modern country called Nigeria. Thank you and have a nice day.